Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for your support, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning back in. This is going to be a reading for all Sagittarius placements. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading might resonate with you. So let's get some important messages for you here. We have the Eight of Cups. All right. So are you forgiving someone, Sagittarius? Letting something go. Just letting something be. All right. I'm also getting you're going on. You are. Somebody is ascending. I feel like it's like you are going on a higher level. I also feel like you could be around the mountains or something like that. All right, I feel like you are going on a long journey alone, Sagittarius. All right, or you have been on this long journey by yourself, going through it alone. Okay, so let's see. So we have the Six of Swords. Why I'm definitely getting you are moving on, like you're leaving things behind you. Just like you might just be up and just maybe you are. I'm thinking, I'm getting you, you're thinking about just up and leaving your city, up and leaving everything at your house, or just up and leaving, okay, so we have the Empress, yeah, somebody is definitely ascending on a higher level here, we have the Hierophants, yeah, initiation as far as done with being initiated, basically, like, you don't have to worry about going through this, that, and the third no more, okay, you have fully mastered yourself with the Empress card, Hierophant energy showing up, all right, you have really done the work, you've really done what needs to be done here. Okay, Sagittarius, so now you are um, entering a phase where things just come to you naturally, okay? Things just attracting itself to you, great things. All right, this is really good, Sagittarius. You also could be um, walking away from someone, um, walking away from maybe a Libra or someone, let's see. So we have the King of Pentacles. So this can have something to do with maybe your career, but I feel like you are being placed in some sort of leadership position now, Sagittarius. So this is the energy that's coming towards you, okay? Um, just through these, like I feel like you are maybe like ascending. That's the word. Did I say that? What's the What's the Eight of Cups? All right. So yeah, I feel like you're leaving. You're just gonna maybe you feel like you're just up and called to leave a home or leave a city and. You just do it. You just, you know, you follow divine guidance or fo follow what you need, what needs to be followed here. Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Yeah, you have a strategy here. What's the, what's the, um, what's this? Give me more energy on this Eight of Cups. All right. So we have, yeah, I'm definitely getting somebody is soul searching. Now, if this is not like you moving, leaving your home, you just, you leave your house for maybe a day or two or just a couple of hours to just like drive and just like kind of think and just in your mind wonder, but things is coming to you as as you leave or as you in the car or something like that. You just feel this this uplifting energy here, Sagittarius. Okay, it, all right. What's the what's the six of swords? It's like while you're on the road or why you. Okay, so yeah, we have the five of swords inverted. Yeah, it's like you man. It's, this is really good. It's like your mind is telling you, hey, or you know the the next level. For your life it's telling you to leave leave don't worry about who's been spiteful hateful leave the spiteness behind leave the the um, arrogance all right leave this abusive relationship behind you something is telling you to just leave this shit behind you man because you're you are like you that it don't resonate with you anymore certain things is starting not to resonate with your life being confused being being spiteful being angry arguing with people like you're the empress now okay you are the emperor so it's just like certain shit just turn you all the way off, man. If a certain person don't know exactly what they want, if the, if a certain person don't know, you know what what they you feel it's it's like you feel me. It's like you ain't got time to explain to nobody how you what you want or nothing. If they don't naturally know, you don't even want to deal with them. It's like man, I don't master myself. If you can't bring me no calmness, no peace, then stay from around me. Like that's the energy that you're in. What's the Empress card? About this empress. Now we got the emperor. Yeah, I'm definitely wow. This is beautiful with the six of wands here. So I'm definitely getting yeah, divine masculine with divine feminine Sagittarius energy. All right, it's like many you're growing. All right, this can also have something to do with a marriage, a twin flame situation, a soulmate connection here. All right, but somebody is like really, like really stepping into that structure, discipline, energy, and they're very serious about it with the emperor card. All right, it's all about you right now. This is how you feel. You just want better. You wanna, you wanna do better. All right, this is the energy you in. You just, you just in a better space, a better head space. Okay, things just don't. It, it just, 
things just don't interest you no more. You feel very disconnected, but you feel disconnected to bullshit. If it ain't about high vibrational shit, you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to listen to it, watch it, go around it. You're the full cord. This is, you literally, this is something like you, this is a new feeling that's going to come over you. You might start to feel isolated or you might start to hold back from people or just ghost everybody. Or you just feel the need to don't talk to nobody, just ghost people. This is what, you know, this could be what your intuition is telling you. I'm also getting here, you're leaving a marriage here or a relationship. I'm also getting here, you're sending your child off to college for some of you. Okay, so what is the um, Emperor Empress, the full court? So yeah, we have the High Priestess, yeah. I feel like too, your intuition is starting to sharpen. Okay, you start to get real, real, real spiritual out of nowhere. You start to feel people. You start to know. It's just like, you just know, man. The high priest is about knowing the chariot. It's like, you know your direction now. You know which way to go. You know what you want. You know what you don't want. And if motherfuckers can't bring that shit to you, what you want. It's like, you don't even want to fuck. Like I said, you don't even want to motherfucking explain to these people what you want. You don't You don't even feel like explaining to nobody how you feel like being loved and treated. If the motherfucker ain't doing it, you just like, I don't even want to deal with you. I'm good. Like, somebody is really like... Really opening up, opening their mind, opening their body, soul, spirit. I'm getting your chakras is very aligned right now, Sagittarius. Really good. Really good energy here. Okay. I'm also getting here too. There is somebody is secretly going to visit someone or secretly going to someone's house or some shit like that. You could be in a car with this Pisces as well and y'all having this discussion about just growing all right or you're just in a car with someone so we have the page of cups all right so yeah intuition i'm also getting creativity your creativity is starting to yeah ace of swords i'm definitely getting you uh your you is like really sharp right now sagittarius okay this is really good energy okay you really know what you want you know what you don't want and it's like you following along with that shit, Ace of Swords. It's like you're not going to ignore, you know, what, what's right for you anymore. I'm also getting, you're getting the truth and clarity about a water sign, this period. Okay. I'm, I'm getting to, you're going to let this water sign down easily or this Aries or this Libra. You're like, look, man, I'm going to be real with you. Like, this ain't even what I'm on. This ain't what I'm used to. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm past this or I don't grow up from this. If, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grown, baby. I don't got time for the bullshit. <laughs> Or something. So yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles here. All right, what's the Ten of Pentacles? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you are. You feel disconnected from people, or you just like going cold on many people. You slowing your energy down for people. I'm also getting here too, Sage. It's like um, your money just might slow down because you. It's a certain job that you don't want anymore. You just you feel like you have grown from that job. This is. It's something that it don't excite you. So you and you okay with that. You like, okay, yeah, whatever. My money slow down. Oh well. It'll it'll pick back up. Like this is you really gotta understand the level of master that you got to be at when thinking like this and feeling this way and just being open with the full core, just being open for new things and you know, taking major risk and you know, leaving things behind, opening up to new things. All right, it's like seven of wands, yeah. So I'm giving you a queen of wands. You're setting strong boundaries right now, Sage. Queen of swords, you're very serious about it. I feel like you okay with being alone. These motherfuckers don't give you what you want, nine of cups. you like, man, I can be alone, okay? Or if, if if this job is not worth my time, my energy, my effort, I can leave this job. It's taking too much of my peace away. So right now, everything is all about you. This is really good. But I feel like this is a level of ascending that you are coming to. You are wanting to learn more. You are wanting to explore more. For some of you, I'm getting you are wanting to travel. You are setting a trip uh, uh, you just been just ha called, having a need to just travel, go here, or go out in nature, or you know what I'm saying. I'm definitely getting the higher from the King of Swords, the Four of Swords. You are really thinking deep, long, hard, and about long term. You're thinking about commitment. Okay, you are you are learning, doing more research. This is really good, Sagittarius. Yeah, things that just don't excite you anymore. Four of Cups. Okay, you just don't have time for the bullshit. Okay, the immaturity, the the, the small talk with the page of pillars. You're like, I don't want nothing small. I'm I'm on big shit right now. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands inverted. Okay, what's the Queen of Wands inverse? In reverse. So we have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like there's an air sign who is 
who is trying to fight with you or you're trying to fight with this air sign or you used you usually fight back with this air sign and you like man look i don't even want to fight with you anymore girl or boy or whoever you can have it but i feel like somebody is competing with you sage or something like that what's the five of wands the queen of wands reverse okay so yeah the tempers yeah something about you sagittarius definitely yeah the knight of cups so this is somebody who wants to make it right or wants to come back and apologize after giving you pushback or spreading rumors and saying you was a hoe, you was this, you, you fuck with this person, you dip with that person. This person could be your child's father, something like that. But it's like, you don't even care about that. You're like, man, I don't, that, it don't, yeah, we got to, yeah, somebody is trying to make up with you, but I feel like they got secret motive, motive as well, but you, this something you don't really care about. You like, it is what it is. It's so well, like you really don't care. But I feel like somebody is trying to come make up with you. But what's the Seven of Swords, though? What's the Seven of Swords? They got some sort of secret motive. Okay, so we have the Star Card. Okay, so somebody is hoping, praying, and wishing that you would accept them back or that you would not reject them. Okay, Sagittarius. All right, I, that's another note. What's the King of Pentacles? All right, so we have the Eight of Swords inverted. So, yeah, I feel like now you are choosing to not be a slave to your job and not be a slave to things that don't make you happy. Or you, you if it don't if it don't resonate with maybe your business or just like your growth or your leadership, you are not going to trap yourself with it. Just period. You're letting it go. You're releasing it. Okay. So I'm definitely getting with the judgment card. You are definitely entering a new phase within your life, Sagittarius. Okay. And this is a serious phase for you. And it's a very cutthroat phase where you cutting off anything that that you feel like is not a part of your spiritual journey or your spiritual path all right what's the judgment piece which is really good so yeah we have the page of swords the nine of wands there you go the ace of wands so yeah now you are starting to look into new things different things take action on other things okay sagittarius really good this is good what's the outcome for sagittarius What is the outcome? So we have the four cups. <laughs> ah, yeah, the outcome is just you like, you just, yeah, you just, you yeah, the four swords. You, you, you okay with that. Yeah, you're, the outcome is you just rejecting people that's, that's not, that don't make you happy. You, you, you really study, you really focusing on your peace right now with the four swords here, said the series, okay? That's what you're focused on. All right, so, that's really good, but that's what I heard for you though, my love. I really hope this helps you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.